All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And fellas, we got to talk about some pretty strange YouTube Illuminati bullspit going on here. I uploaded a video yesterday talking about the whole Logan Paul situation he's got going on over in Japan. I'm sure everybody knows about it. It's national news. Heck, even the Spanish channel, they were talking about this dude. Uh, I mean... Everyone knows what happened. I uploaded a video yesterday, uh, you know, a 12-minute video, 11, 12-minute video, and I was just talking about what happened. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just talking about what he did, how it was inappropriate, blah, blah, blah. I don't think it was an offensive video. I mean, I, did, I don't even think I swore in that video. Uh, but they YouTube demonetized me. YouTube would not allow any ads to run on the video. Uh, but I guess that's a lot better than what most people got because most people just straight got their videos taken down Like how they did my homie Birdman. They took Birdman's video down. They even went after PewDiePie. They took PewDiePie's video down They take it down everybody Which is weird to me because here's a video of a dude uploading uh, You know an inappropriate video now, YouTube decides to make that uh, Top 10 trending, but when you try and make a video talking about it They want to try and strike your channel and not let you run no ads on it that doesn't make any sense, YouTube. Why would you promote something and make it top 10 trending, but then when people try and talk about it, you want to shut them down? I, I don't get that. I I honestly, dude, I'm really not happy with YouTube's leadership. Uh, and I guarantee this video is going to get demonetized now because I'm speaking my mind. God forbid you do that in a respectful manner on YouTube these days. Uh, I mean, my video had over... 100,000 views or, or just at 100,000 uh, these these views haven't caught up yet but I've got like 96,000 views now YouTube's YouTube's policy is after a thousand views they're supposed to review your video and let you know if it's suitable for advertisement or not now this video that I uploaded yesterday currently right now is getting 3,000 hits an hour and it's been doing that all day long uh, still no ads on the video but the actual video of somebody up, uh, vlogging with a dead guy is, uh, you know, 6 million hits, top 10 trending, yada, 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 all that good stuff. I just don't get the double standard. Uh, it's almost like there's a YouTube Illuminati, go uh, Illuminati going on. And like I said, man, I mean, did I call Logan Paul a sociopath? Yes, I did. That's like the only negative thing I said about the dude. I mean, come on, you got to be a sociopath. To be vlogging with a dead guy and making jokes and laughing. And again, he only showed us the stuff that made it into the final edit of that video. I mean, who knows what was left on the chopping block? You know what I'm saying? I mean, he could have been doing some Weekend at Bernie stuff with that poor corpse. Who knows? I don't even want to think about it, man. Just horrible, right? Uh, but YouTube, what what is with the double standards? How are you going to make the actual video of what's so offensive top trending? But when people try to talk about it, you're going to go and flag the content or not enable any type of ad rev whatsoever. I just don't understand that, man. I just don't get it. I mean, the only, there was nothing wrong in my video. There was nothing offensive in my video. The only thing I got wrong is when I said that Logan Paul was a Team 10 member. That's it. I guess he's not in Team 10. I guess he's in another gang. His brother runs the Team 10 gang and uh, Logan's in some other gang. I don't know. They're, they're in different gangs. I thought they ran together. I mean, I don't know if my brother was in a gang, I'd probably run with him. You know, so I like, why would brothers be in different gangs? Ah, I don't know. I don't get it, man. Whatever. But anyway, listen, I'm going to show you guys a tweet right now. You, you want to see how broken and unfair YouTube is? Show you a tweet right now from a homeboy, uh, Trusted Flagger, who actually flagged this video that Logan Paul uploaded about his video in Japan in the woods. Uh, and he said, Logan Paul's video was reported and YouTube manually reviewed it. They decided to leave it up without even an age restriction. People who've re-uploaded it since have received strikes for graphic content. Ridiculous. So here we got Logan Paul uploading the video. It don't even get an age restriction on it. But anyone else who tries to upload a video talking about it gets whacked with uh, graphic content. Getting this stuff flat out removed from YouTube like my homie Birdman. Copyright strike. I don't know, Birdman, what'd you get? A copyright or a community strike? I don't know, but this is just crazy, man. You know what, fellas? I think I'm just going to stay in my lane and just stick to talking about COD. Because when I start talking about the flippery and all the shady stuff these YouTube megastars are, are doing out here, the YouTube Illuminati, no, no, no. They don't like that. 
They don't like you talking bad about your cash cow. You know, so you guys ever see that movie Casino with Sam Rothstein? Sam Rothstein, he was making the mob so much money, he could have done whatever. The mob was going to make sure nothing happened to that dude. That's pretty much what YouTube's doing with this Logan Paul cat. He's, he's Logan Paul is Sam Rothstein. He's making YouTube so much money. YouTube's like just trying to cover up and silence anyone that's saying, you know, what's what about this dude. Now, he made his uh, apology video, which he seemed pretty sincere. But he did say one thing that mm, I kind of shook my head a little bit like I wasn't buying it. He said he was shocked that he actually saw a dead body in the suicide forest. Uh, I mean, bro, how do you think that forest got named that? I mean, it's been documented that there's been over 100 people that have gone in there to end their life over the past year or so. So, I mean, maybe you didn't know that going in, but why would you go there in the first place? You had to have known something. I don't know, man. Just something seems really fishy about this whole damn thing. And listen, there's even a lot of guys out there that think that whole thing was set up. Like, they knew there was a dude hanging out there. They knew exactly where to walk to. It was, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people out there that have that theory. And do I think that, that they knew exactly what they were doing out there? Ah, I don't know. I, I, I better not say. I better keep that to myself. You know, YouTube, they'll, they'll shut my whole channel down. If I actually come out here and speak the truth, you, you know what they do to people that speak the truth, man. They silence those people. I'm not trying to wind up like that. I like my little grind out here on YouTube too much, man, to risk it. You know what I'm saying, fellas? Like, I, that's why, man. I cleaned up my act. I don't swear that much anymore. You know, I'm trying to be a good boy. It's not easy, but uh, you know, I make it happen. And, uh, you know, YouTube don't want you talking about their cash cows. I, I understand that. And, you know, I understand the dude's, you know, he's a really young kid. Made a mistake. I understand that, too. And, I mean, it's not like he actually went out there and hung the guy himself, right? I mean... He filmed a dead body. Uh, you know, he could have done worse things. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he was trying to hustle his fan base in a gambling scam. I mean, you know, I mean, we're all a little messed up, right, fellas? I'm not trying to defend this guy's actions or nothing, but uh, I don't know. I got to say something, man, so YouTube likes me somehow. I don't know. Logan Paul is the man. But he can do whatever he wants. Let him go out there and do vlogs at the morgue for all he can. Who cares? Let him do whatever he wants, man. Team 10 for life. Oh, wait a minute. No, he's not in Team 10. Who's in Team 10? If, if Logan ain't... In, uh, oh, that's his brother, right? What's his brother's name? Jake. Jake's in Team 10. All right. So Jake's Team 10. Logan is in the low gang. Ah, man. There's so many gangs out there, man. I don't know, man. When I was young, it was simple. We just had, like, the Bloods and the Crips. That was it. Now there's, like, gangs everywhere. Well, no, we had the Latin Kings, too. I don't know, man. <laughs> I want this commentary to turn into a commentary about gangs. Whatever, man. Uh, but, I mean, it's crazy, man. YouTube used to be a place where you could just come out here and say whatever you want. Now YouTube has become... Just like, you know, a normal corporate job where, like, you got to butt kiss people and you can't say certain things about certain people or else you just get shafted. Uh, I miss the way YouTube used to be, man, where you just come out here and say whatever. Uh, it really is a shame. YouTube just changed for the worse. Uh, you know, it's still it's still great. You know what I'm saying? When, when YouTube actually decides to uh, run ads on your video, it's still, you know, not bad. Uh, but all the censorship and stuff, man, I mean, in the last video, I don't even know why it was censored. Like, what did I say that was so bad? Uh, I mean, I even put a number to the uh, hotline there for people having trouble. Like, hey, call the hotline. If you're having trouble, if you're, having, if you're depressed, if you're having, you know, some not, not okay thoughts. You guys know what word I want to say, right? But I'm trying not to say that because the bot is listening. The bot reads words. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Oh, my God. All you people... <laughs> Doing YouTube now, you have no idea how good it was back in the day. We could come out here and say whatever, man. Nobody cared. But anyway, man, listen. Oh, I just before this commentary ends, I just want to ask all you guys right now that are still listening to my voice, how weird is this whole scenario, man? That YouTube will make a video, top ten trending, uh, refuse to put age restriction on it, but anyone who tries to talk about the video or call the dude out. They're going to take the ads away or just flat out rip the video like they did Birdman. Just del copyright strike and take the video down. And, I mean, when you look at the reason why Birdman's video was taken down, like if you, if you click on it, it says misleading metadata. Like what? Like if you look right here, video removed for misleading or insufficient metadata. Birdman, I hope you appeal that, homie misleading or insufficient metadata what the hell is that dude i've been on youtube 
for, let's, let's see, since 2008? How many years? I've been on YouTube for 10 years. I've been on here for a decade, bro. And I have never heard of that before in my life. I've never even seen that. They hit my homie Birdman with some make-believe BS uh, copyright claim. I, you know what I'm saying? Just Like I said, man, it's, it's a YouTube Illuminati, fellas. That's all there is. You know, They got their golden boys, their cash cows, and they can't do no wrong. And if you try and say anything, if you try and call them out, they shut you down. So YouTube used to be this great free uh, platform. Now it's, it's just corporate. It's corporate. It's like any other job out there. You gotta toe the company line. You can't be talking about this one or that one. You just gotta, you just gotta know your place. And my, I know my place. <laughs> it's definitely nowhere near uh, where these dudes are at. And I don't want to fly too close to the sun, man. My wings might melt off and I'll fall into the pit of lava. You know what I'm saying, fellas? So that's all I'm gonna say about this. The dude made an apology video. People forget all about this in a week. It is what it is, man. Uh, just really, really strange. Let me know what you think down in the comment section, everybody. I mean, 2018, it's, it, we're not getting off to the right foot here, fellas. We're three days into this year, and we've got vlogs with corpses. We've got uh, copyright strikes and, and people getting their stuff taken down. Demonetizations galore. And to top it all off, we've got this coming from POTUS over on Twitter. Uh, Trump and Kim Jong talking about who's got the biggest nuclear button. Uh, dude, please, man, I don't need to be seeing this. Can we just, can we just keep the nukes to, in Call of Duty? Let's just keep the nukes in Call of Duty. We don't... Listen, Kim Jong-un talking all this noise about how he's going to nuke a city. What is that? I don't understand what this does for North Korea. If Kim Jong-un nukes California or wherever, our response is going to be to flatten their whole entire country. What do you gain in nuking a U.S. city, man? What do you gain in nuking a city if it's going to cost you your whole country? I, I just don't get it, man. Listen... Uh, Trump, I like what you're doing for the economy, man. But please, could we just chill with all the nuclear talk, man? I like I like what you're doing with the stocks and the economy and everything, man. Just I want to be around to spend it. I want to be around for me and my kids to enjoy it, man. Don't please don't get us involved in nuclear war, man. Please, we definitely don't need this. Hopefully, this is all just shit talking between these two. Uh, I, I definitely ain't trying to get caught up in no nuclear war. I listen. I like playing Fallout on. The PS4. I'm not trying to play Fallout in real life, man. Nobody needs this. So hopefully, hopefully diplomacy <laughs> reigns, man. Because we definitely don't need these two dudes sitting here talking about who's got the biggest nuclear button on their desk. Hey, you know what, man? Trump is not the only dude with a button on his desk. You guys all have one, too. It's the like button. And make sure you guys titty smack that. Show me which one of you guys has the biggest like button out there. <laughs> make sure you guys titty smack that like button. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, fellas. Have a good one. I'll see you on the next upload.